brand new technology that experts say could change the way we access space and it's being developed and tested in Northeast Ohio. Isabel Lawrence went to Sandusky to NASA's Neil Armstrong test facility to speak with the people working on this project and learn more about Dream Chaser. This could be the future of how we access space. You might be thinking this looks more like an airplane than a rocket ship. And that's the point. This ability to fly from the Earth's surface to 250 miles above our head and to bring people and cargo back to a runway anywhere in the world, that's what you're witnessing here today. This is a Dream Chaser space plane, a reusable vehicle from the company Sierra Space, contracted by NASA to resupply the International Space Station. The success of this contract has been critical to the research that we've been able to perform on the International Space Station. Dream Chaser space planes and their cargo modules will carry critical supplies to the space station and will bring back to Earth research that's been conducted. The Dream Chaser will deliver over 7,800 pounds of cargo on this first 45-day mission with the potential to increase that on future missions as they learn more about how their vehicle flies. Right now, it's at the Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Sandusky undergoing testing. Sierra Space's CEO says low Earth orbit holds the key to major developments. We just need to go 250 miles above our head and it unlocks a brand new environment. And that environment will unlock cures to oncology, longevity, next generation of energy. And NASA is looking to the future of the commercial space industry, too. We're going to have commercial companies building and operating space stations in low Earth orbit. And this is just part of growing and supporting that industry to get going. Northeast Ohio's NASA Glenn Research Center and Neil Armstrong Test Facility positioned to play big roles in that. The capabilities we provide are going to be critical to any sort of a space mission, whether it's crewed or uncrewed, uh, whether it's cargo, it's commercial, it's NASA, and, and we're just excited about the future of space here right here in Ohio. That is pretty cool. That's Isabel Lawrence reporting.